Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh, I think I've made a mistake and I really want to ask you for your feedback and your help in this video. But I'm going to be talking a lot on camera, so I'll start with something that's maybe a bit more pleasant to watch and I'll get back to you with my specific question later on in the video. Well, good morning and welcome to my freezing kitchen. I don't know if you can see the, whatever that's called. Uh, we actually said yesterday, I would love to know what temperature it really actually is because it always feels cold. And it was four degrees Celsius yesterday and it froze a lot more last night. So I'm quite sure that it isn't any warmer. We are having gorgeous winter days here. Um, sun is out, um, clear skies, nice and cold. I like that, but not cold like you would have in certain other places of France. Um, but this part of the house, you know, is not renovated. Uh, we don't need a big fridge, um, but you know, it means that when we're in here cooking, we're always a little cold, but we did have a meeting with our builders yesterday and I'm so excited about that about all of this part of the house that we're starting to renovate probably around March or April so we're really excited about that we looked at a heating system we looked at my oh the plan for my huge kitchen well huge compared to this one because uh, I have also been working on uh, making a website, the start of a website, because I really want to do all the preparations that I can while I wait for Olaf and the builders to finish everything, but also trying out the recipes that I want to use for what we will call our panier d'hôte, which is like a basket like this, because uh, we want to offer to the people in the cabin uh, that if they want to not cook, they have a kitchen in the cabin, uh, that we offer nice, simple, but very healthy and vegetarian meals and also breakfast. So today, this weekend, it's weekend, everybody's home and I figured I would make healthy waffles, breakfast waffles. <music>
I guess when doing a big renovation project like this, many things turn out beautifully and some things we've noticed don't turn out the way you expected. We do most of the renovation works ourselves, which enables us to change things. We've seen that we change a lot of things as we progress. So even though we do most of the things ourselves, we're on site all day when we've got builders, some things go wrong. And one of the things that went, I was going to say horribly wrong, but that's because I feel bad about it towards the team who did it. And that is that wall. So this used to be a brick um, concrete wall. I'm showing you some footage of my husband's vlog about all of our renovation works. And as you can see, we had to destroy the entire garden to put in pipes and a septic tank and electricity and all the preparations for the swimming pool. So we were really dying to have a plan for how we were going to restore the garden and be happy with our garden in the summer. So the garden was in this state when we decided to have that wall rendered and had to choose which color it was going to be. And it was just difficult to see at the time. When they came, I said I wanted to blend in with the rest of the building. So we were trying to find the color that matches the average color of the pierre. And it was too hard for me to picture what that would look like. And then by the time we'd finished all of this, the, um, whatever that's called, I said to Olaf, I think we need to have another look at the color that we chose because I think it's not going to be right. But then we were so busy and the, the guys who did it were so busy and I had to go to the Netherlands for work and I don't know how it happened, but somehow all of a sudden they showed up and with all of their stuff and started doing this. And the minute I saw it, I knew it was not going to be what I wanted. So let me show you, you know, on the video, it actually looks pretty okay, but it's, it's really very yellow. And what I especially really don't like, and I haven't seen that anywhere before, and I was not aware of the fact that they would put that in, is these strip corner things. And they actually do that to make it look nice, like it's a nice finish. But you know, to me, it doesn't fit with an old building. I took another turn on my way home and I need to go We're on the other side of that bigger road down in the valley. That is, I'll do a video on that. That is the, I would say French route 66. It's the old Autoroute du Soleil when it wasn't an autoroute, when it was just a smaller road. Anyway, so I stopped and took a detour so I could film this moon. It's insane and the video does not do it justice. It's one of those moments where you wish you had a proper camera. The sky is actually purple blue and then there's this huge giant orange ball it's insane. We have such beautiful sunsets here and such beautiful views, but you just can't see it with this camera.
these are the tiles we used on the other side of this wall uh, with the swimming pool terrace. See, this is what the wall used to be like on the other side as well. They did some repair work and then put on the rendering. And this is the terrace um, tile. They're quite dirty, but I was going to take this with me to the color that we have on the porch so I can see maybe if that goes well together. And then, you know, whenever the light changes, everything looks different. So it is so difficult to decide. Sometimes I wish I could live life through the lens of my iPhone camera because it looks perfect in this shot, but it doesn't in real life. So I guess this is not it either. But as you could see in Olaf's footage, there was actually ivy all over that wall before. So we did decide to plant that back. So I guess I just still don't know what I want to do. I've already contacted the, the, the people that did it and they were very open and willing to find a solution. They felt horrible knowing that we weren't happy. Um, so, you know, they're so wonderful. Uh, and I just think now the problem is, I don't know how I want it to be fixed. And if I don't know, then he can't, you know, then he can't tell me what he can do for me, right? So. Um, let me know what you think. I feel like let's just let it all go. Let's just leave it as is. We have so much more work to do. And the other really nice thing that uh, I wanted to share with you is that I have met a wonderful woman. Uh, we met through this YouTube channel, actually, and then connected on Instagram. And because she lives just on the other side of Boone, and we met this week and we had a lovely lunch together and it was such a heartwarming uh, rencontre and we just had so many things in common and we felt so comfortable and, and happy to be in each other's presence and then we were chatting about all kinds of things and it turns out she loves gardening and i said could you give me maybe some advice about what to do with that wall and how to plant it and, and so she was all enthusiastic about helping me. So if you're watching this, and I think you do, merci, merci. Um, really look forward to fixing that. And I think maybe once we have planted all of that and it starts to grow, I, it's probably okay. And, you know, the other thing I tell myself sometimes is there's so much going on in the world. This might not be the most important thing to worry about. Like I've always feel like a spoiled child worrying about the color of a wall and this actually has been crossing my mind a lot lately thinking you know people are lying awake at night over which couch to choose or the color of the kitchen or the like you know as long as those are the things we worry about I guess our life is really beautiful and perfect um, and we have no real things to worry about which doesn't mean you can't really sometimes feel like you really don't know what to do and it's really because you want your life and your house to be beautiful i do believe living in a beautiful home and surrounding yourself with beauty it nourishes your soul and it's never you know people tend to say it's superficial but it's actually not it is honestly everything around us has 
an energy and has a frequency. And if you surround yourself with things that, you know, have a lower frequency, it's going to affect how you feel. So anyway, we're going to, um, going to give it some more thought. Um, and I wanted to ask you if you could let me know what you would do with it. I'd love to hear from you. And um, yeah, thanks for watching again. I think in my next video, I'm going to take you with me to another place that I go to for work, which is a really nice small village cafe with the original bistro furniture, really nice. Um, and I may uh, talk a little about alignment as well. I've been so, um, what's the word? moved by your comments on this and I feel very called to keep spreading that message and helping people to live in full alignment and I do feel that the change that we all feel is needed in the world at the moment with everything that's going on is going to happen through all of our individual choices and transformation like all the small and big things that you and I individually are going to change in the way we live our life, the choices we make, and thus we will change how we live as a collective, you know? And so I believe, you know, see, this is when I start talking about it, I don't stop. So let, I'll keep that for our next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Wow, did you hear the magpie wanting to join in on this conversation with us and give us a message? And I will share more about what I believe its message was, at least to me, in the next video. Okay, while editing, I did feel I wanted to add a final note on alignment. And I'm very passionate about this topic, obviously, and I will inevitably talk a little bit about it here on this channel. But I also send out newsletters in which I share insights and anything that I'm personally learning about living in more alignment. And I'm sharing this with my fellow seekers of light and joy and alignment. And if you want to join that, you can. So I'll put a link in the description box so you can sign up for that.